Let's say that I want to make a bunch of queries to a smart contract. I want to call multiple functions, and maybe I want to call multiple contracts. For this example, we'll keep it simple and we'll say that we want to call function 1 and function 2. Now what we can do here is call function 1, get the results, and then call function 2, and then also get the results. Now the problem with this approach is that blocked out timestamp may be different. We call function 1 and we get a timestamp, and then we call function 2, so this timestamp might come after this timestamp. However, we can aggregate these two function calls, function 1 and function 2, into a single query by writing a contract called multi-call. The basic idea of this contract multi-call is that we'll have a function to call these function func1 and then func2 and then return both of the results. So we'll name it contract multi-call and then it will have a single function. I'll name it function multi-call and it's going to take in some parameters. The first parameter will be the addresses of the contracts to call. Address bracket call data and then I'll name it targets. And then the other parameter is the data to pass to each target. So I'll say bytes bracket call data data. This function will be external view and then it's going to return the output from each call to target and those data will be in bytes so we'll return bytes array memory. Inside this function we'll run a for loop to make call to each of these targets passing in the data. It will return an output and we'll store that output in the array of bytes. But before we do that we'll first check that the length of the targets is equal to the length of the data. So we'll say require targets dot length is equal to data dot length with the error message target length is not equal to data length. Next we'll initialize the array of bytes. This will store the outputs and then return it. So we'll say bytes bracket memory results is equal to new bytes bracket and we'll initialize this bytes array in memory to have the length equal to data.length. We'll run a for loop and then afterwards we'll return this results array by typing return results. Lastly we'll run a for loop to call each of the target. So we'll say for uint i i less than targets dot length i plus plus and then we'll call each of the targets by typing targets of i dot static call. Notice that here I'm using static call instead of the familiar function call. This is because we're going to make this function a view function. If you want to send transactions then you will remove this view function and instead of calling static call we would say just call. But here we just want to query it so we'll say static call. And inside the parentheses we'll pass in the data of i by typing data i. Now similar to the low level function call, this function execution will return two outputs. The first output will be a boolean and this will tell us whether the call was successful or not. So we'll say success. And the second output will be any data that was returned by calling the function. So it'll be bytes, memory, I'll call it result. We will check that the function call to static call was successful by typing require success call fail. Once you know that the function was successful, we will store the result in the results array by typing results of i is equal to result. Let's try compiling this contract, so I'll hit control s. We will deploy this contract and also this test multi call. We will prepare some data to call function 1 and function 2 and then call multi-call. We'll call the function multi-call passing in the address of the test multi-call contract twice, once to call the function func1 and the next one to call the function func2. But before we do that we need to prepare the data to pass in here. This data will instruct the EBM to call function1 and function2. To get the first data I'll say function get data1. This will be external peer and it's going to return the bytes. Returns 
bytes memory. To get the data to call function one, we'll say return abi dot encode with selector this dot func one dot selector. Now this code that you see over here does exactly the same thing as what I've showed you before. ABI encode with signature, passing in the string function signature of func1. We will also get the data for func2, so I'll copy this, paste it, and then we'll say get data to, and change func1 to func2. Okay, so we're now ready for the demo. I'll deploy the two contracts, test multi-call, and the multi-call contract. Scroll down, and then we'll open the test multi-call contract first. Call the function get data one and call the function get data two. Next, we'll open the multi-call contract. And then for the targets, this will be the addresses of the contracts that we want to query. We'll call the test multi-call contract twice. So I'll copy the address and then paste it in here. So I'll type brackets double quote, paste the address, close it with another double quote, again a double quote, paste the address, double quote, close the bracket. The array of data that we need to pass in here to call func1 and func2 are these data that you see over here. I'll copy the first data, scroll down, and then we'll prepare the array of data. Bracket, double quote, paste the data, close the double quote, double quote again, scroll up, Copy the data for calling func2, paste it here, close the double quote and the bracket. And then we'll call the function call. Notice that we get some data back. Let's decipher this data. The first part that you see over here is the first output of calling the function func1. The first output returns one, which you can see over here that it returns one. And the next part is the timestamp. The next data that was returned is called to function func2. The first output of func2 is 2 that you can see over here. And the next output is a timestamp. Notice that the number you see over here and the number you see over here are the same. This is because the two timestamps are the same. So this is how you can aggregate multiple queries into a single function call by using multi-call.